हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई टू कवरिंग द प्रोवेल गवर्नर अलॉन्ग विद इट्स डेरिवेशन नाउ दिस इज द लेक्चर फाइव ऑफ द गवर्नर and if you have not my watched my previous four videos of the governor you can click on the top right corner i appearing on the screen right now now let's start with the proel governor a proel governor it is also a, a centrifugal type of governor in which we have the central sleeve that is having a mass capital m we have two balls that are not attached at the intersection of the links but the balls are attached to the extension of the secondary link here the ball are attached at certain distance cg which is equal to bf the links are attached to the secondary link extension now secondary link is eg and df so these links they are extended somewhat and then at that point the balls are attached also apart from the difference from the porter governor is that the points p and q they don't lie on the spindle axis they are at a certain equal distance apart this distance is equal to this distance this distance is equal to this distance so p and q they lie at the mirror image of each other considering the spindle axis to be the mirror axis so equal distance they lie apart and the second difference i want to be told that the balls they lie at the center point of the link that of the that is extended that is the secondary link extension the balls are placed all right now for the derivation purpose we are considering the instantaneous center method now taking the left half of the setup so point p this is the governor axis or the spindle axis you can say point p this is the pf link that is pf link this is the fd link that is the fd link and at d point we are considering the weight that is the central load weight capital w to be equally distributed that is w that is half the portion it carries weight this much portion carries the weight capital w by 2 and this much carries the weight capital w by 2 so for derivation we are considering only left half so we will take w by 2 and we are considering this angle alpha that the fp link makes with the vertical and we are considering this angle beta that the fd link makes with the vertical so this is angle is beta now we are drawing we are extending the link fp up to a certain distance and we are making perpendicular from d so wherever they meet that point is known as m also we are dropping a perpendicular from point f to the id so we get point m now and this was angle beta so this angle will also be beta because of alternate angles alternate interior angles and this angle is alpha so this angle will also be alpha because of the corresponding angles now fc is the centrifugal force that acts on the ball in outward direction small w that is equal to small m into g that acts downwards from the center of the ball that is the gravitational force and at point d we are considering the central load weight that is capital m was the central load mass so capital m into g by 2 now capital mg is w so we are considering capital w by 2 to be acting at point d downwards now to begin the derivation we are taking a moment about the point we are taking the moment about the point i so when we take the moment about the point i what we write that fc into this distance b m that is anti clockwise so minus you write fc into dm and then w into im that will be clockwise So you write plus w that is small w into im 
again third force will be equal to capital W by 2 into ID that is clockwise so you write plus because clockwise moment we take plus and anti-clockwise moment we take minus capital W by 2 into ID. Now we equate it to be equal to 0 because only these three forces moment will be there. Now when we equate this to be 0 so minus this you take on other side so we can write the equation in this form that is Fc into Vm is equal to small w into Im plus w by 2 into Id. Now we substitute the value of small w and capital W as small w is small m into g and capital W is capital M into g. Rest remains as it is. Alright. Now moving further we divide this whole equation by Bm throughout. So we get small mg up into im upon bm this term plus mg by 2 into id upon bm now id we substitute as im plus md id is im plus md all right so we are breaking im plus md In the next step we separate that is we separate im upon bm plus md upon bm like this alright then we multiply and divide by fm throughout fc it is equal to a small mg and you take bm common so fc it is equal to bm you take common throughout you write mg by mg into im plus capital mg by 2 into im plus capital mg by 2 into i into md now we are multiplying and dividing by fm so you multiply and divide by fm so what happens you multiply so you multiply throughout and you divide by fm so when we multiply by fm so fm come here and when we divide by fm so we divide throughout by fm so nothing will remain changed because fm and fm gets cancelled now we will take fm with these three terms so it is written here that fc fc it is equal to fm upon bm into small mg into im upon fm now you take individual you separate the terms that is mg into im upon fm this is the term plus capital mg by 2 you can take common bracket im upon fm plus md upon fm bracket close so that is equation that is written now you see the diagram that is since this was alpha so this was alpha because of corresponding angles now we see that im upon fm it is equal to tan alpha that is perpendicular upon base tan alpha is im upon fm and tan beta is md upon fm perpendicular upon base so now you know why we multiply and divide by fm just to convert the equation in term of alpha, alpha and beta that is tan alpha and tan beta. So we are substituting the value of im upon fm as tan alpha and md upon fm as tan beta. Rest equation remains same. Now you can take tan alpha also common. So what we are left is fm upon bm into tan alpha bracket small mg plus capital mg by 2 into the tan alpha is taken out so it will be 1 plus tan beta upon tan alpha this is the basic maths you should know how this is converted we are taking tan alpha common and this term will remain now fc is m omega square r that is the centrifugal force so we are substituting the value of fc as m omega square r like this m omega square r and we are keeping fm upon bm as constant into tan alpha 
that is tan alpha value let us see from the figure now since tan alpha it is also equal to r upon h because r is the radius of the uh, governor that is the balls they are at a distance r apart from the governor axis and since this angle is alpha so you project it up to the governor axis so this angle will also be alpha because of the corresponding angles and h is the height of the governor so tan alpha is also equal to r upon h that is the base that is the perpendicular upon base perpendicular here is r and base is h so tan alpha it is also equal to r upon h now we can substitute the value of tan alpha is equal to r upon h now we are substituting q is equal to tan beta upon tan alpha and tan alpha is equal to r upon h and fc is equal to m omega square r so fc this is what this was fc fc is equal to m omega square r you substitute is equal to fm upon bm into tan alpha you write r upon h bracket mg plus capital mg by 2 1 plus tan beta upon tan alpha is q so 1 plus q now omega square you divide by m into r throughout so r r gets cancelled and m it gets in the denominator here so and g you can take out common g you can take out common from the both the terms so here you can write g and h you write in the denominator h r already got cancelled so omega square will be left as fm upon bm into small m plus capital m by 2 into 1 plus q upon that small m that was taken in the denominator into g you have taken out and h you have written in the denominator with g so this is the final formula now we are substituting value of omega as 2 pi n upon 60 so omega is 2 pi n upon 60 so omega square will be equal to 4 pi 4 pi square upon 3600 into n square so here you multiply by so here you multiply by because omega you write omega square will be equal to 4 pi square n square upon 60 square that is 3600 that will be equal to this whole term this whole term that into 9.81 upon h all right now when you multiply 3600 into 9.81 and divide by 4 pi square so you will get 895 and here n square will be left equal to 895 upon h will be left this h as it is and this term that is fm upon bm into m plus capital m by 2 1 plus q upon m this will be the term so n square is equal to fm upon bm into small m plus capital m by 2 1 plus q upon m into 895 upon h 895 i have explained how it comes that is 9.81 into 3600 upon 4 into pi square so this is the final formula that we will be using for the calculation numericals so n square is equal to fm upon bm into m plus capital m by 2 1 plus q upon m into 895 upon h now in the porter governor the formula was up to this much in proval governor only fm upon bm this is additional term that is in multiplication with the complete formula rest this formula that is this term it is same as in the porter governor but just fm upon bm this term is extra in multiplication in case of proval governor now fm upon bm you can see from the diagram that this was fm fm upon bm that is the perpendicular height of the point of contact of the two links divided by the height of the ball from the perpendicular drawn at the point D. So this distance upon this distance, this is additional multiplication in the formula. So you need to remember this formula that we have finally got. So in this video, I will stop here. 
in the next video i'll be covering the numerical regarding the probability government if you found the video helpful please press the like button please share my video on social media and please subscribe if you have already not subscribe and please check the description ones for more of my social media links and other video links and do watch other videos appearing on the screen right now also i hope you have found the video helpful in the next video i'll be covering the numerical regarding the probability governor and till then take care bye bye